everyone, I am Pooja Vasisht. Today I will talk about complimentary feeding for your baby which begins at 6 months of age. This video will help you understand how you may introduce complimentary feeding to your baby in a step by step guide, how to start it, when to start it, some do's and don'ts and things you should watch out for. So keep watching. Did you know your breast milk alone can meet your baby's nutritional requirement? except for iron and vitamin C at this early age. But post 6 months, the growth of the baby can't be sustained by breast milk alone. And hence, it becomes crucial for you to introduce energy-dense, nutrient-rich, fortified food in addition to breast milk and homemade foods. Since your baby is used to a liquid food diet, that is breast milk, it is recommended to start with liquids only initially. By liquids, I mean well-strained fresh fruit juice of apple, pomegranate, grapes and more. These are vitamin C rich juices, but you must ensure that the juice is not sour. Another liquid which you may give initially is vegetable soup for iron and other vitamins. This soup should be well cooked, pureed and strained. It can be made with vegetables like spinach, beets, carrots, pumpkin, tomatoes etc. Initially you may also start with dal water and then gradually introduce mashed dal to your baby's diet. After this, you may gradually start with starchy foods. I'm talking about rice kheer, suji kheer or fidni hair. Now from clear liquids, it is flowing semi-solids. To assure that your baby is getting enough nutrients that are required at this stage, you may also introduce fortified baby foods. These may have better acceptability as the reconstituted baby food has the required consistency and nutrients suitable for your baby's growth and development. Apart from that, you may add 1 teaspoon of ghee or butter, preferably made at home, to your baby's bowl of food now. This would help in making the baby's dish more energy dense. Introduction of complementary foods needs to be started gradually by replacing one milk feed with food initially. Once your baby accepts food other than milk, you may increase the number of complementary feeds to 3 per day. Portions have to be few spoons only initially. Introduce only one food at a time and give it for 3-4 to four days and only then introduce another food. This would help your baby in accepting and getting familiar with the taste of that particular food. Your baby is doubling her birth weight, so your baby's needs are increasing too. You can start complementary feeding around 6 months once your baby has doubled her birth weight. If your baby rejects a particular food initially, do not be disheartened. Do not give that food for a few days. You may reintroduce that particular food after a gap of two weeks. You should also keep in mind that even a baby may have her likes and dislikes for a food like an adult. So do not force feed your baby. If your baby is not liking a particular food, leave it. You should gradually try to introduce variety in your baby's diet according to the age and stage. Whenever you introduce any new food, check for any allergic reactions. See that your baby is able to tolerate it well. If there is no discomfort or any apparent allergic reaction, you may continue with it. Always remember, consistency should be smooth and flowing. It should not have any lumps or solids, lest it may choke your baby. While homemade food is easy to prepare, it may not be sufficient to meet the nutritional requirements of your growing baby and hence it is advisable that you supplement homemade foods with fortified and nutrient dense food to offer your baby a bowl of assurance. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you want to share your thoughts with me, do write in the comments section below.